Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the rest of June. So, the 15th through the 30th of June, that could resonate at any time. Could be the last day of June, could be the very end of June, whatever. Could be even July, because timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. Anyway, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I am intending it to be between June 15th and June 30th. We are just going to see what comes up. I'm going to get a couple of these. Whatever falls out, if something doesn't fall out, I will choose a couple of cards for Cancer, please. Oh, we got a couple. We, we want a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Ooh, well, and you notice how it flipped right out. A dagger, fear, worries, a tense situation. So daggers hurt. They do. A woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. So something is going to hurt by the looks of things. Kite, vacation. Perhaps you need a vacation. Maybe you're going on vacation. Wishbone. A wish is granted. So interesting. There is going to be a wish that is granted. That's a good thing. But we do have a dagger here. So, But it could just be fear. could be a worry. You could be causing yourself pain through your worries, right? Um, your wish is going to be granted. So something, you know, I think you need to think positive. Um, you may be going on a vacation with a woman. You may be headed towards a woman. Um, if you are a woman, you know, maybe you're planning a vacation. Either way, we got a wish that is about to be granted. So congratulations. What? And isn't it like it, your birthday? The end of June? Happy birthday. Let me sing to you. You probably don't. I'm going to do it anyway. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cancer. Happy birthday to you. All right, so what do we got, Cancer? Ooh, death reversed the Wheel of Fortune. So that's positive. This is a good luck, being at the right place at the right time. Now, death reversed is a delay of some sort. Indecision. Somebody's held back by fear. They're holding on to something. The holding on is getting old. They haven't let go. They haven't released. It's time for a transition. It's time to go in a new direction. The cycle is ending. Something hasn't ended yet, but it's about to end. And that's why these came out together. So there's a cycle that is completing that hasn't ended yet. This cycle is about to end. This is very positive. This is destiny. It's good luck. This is the wheel of life. And death is about life. It is. Life is about change in a very positive way. Life is about to change in a very positive way. Thank you, Lord. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Now, the Knight of Pentacles reverse is your delay. There's been a delay, right? We know there has. It's clear. This is things that haven't been moving forward, but they are about to. Uh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. I need to get another card, but mm, not qualified, inflexible, no long-term plan. You could be dealing with an individual. Somebody's been holding on to a dead end. Okay, these are somebody's been. There's been. This is a dead end. Okay. There could be some unfaithfulness. Somebody may have been unfaithful. Eight of Pentacles. Now, 
trying really, really, really hard to not let it go. Trying really hard to make something work. Somebody has been trying really hard, but they may have been dealing with an individual that is a sponger. Maybe this is a sponger. This is, this is, uh, could be an ex, an ex partner. Somebody's holding on still to somebody that isn't putting in any effort. It's like a one side. I think it's like a one sided situation, but this is trying really, really hard to get something off the ground that isn't secure, that isn't stable, that isn't real, which is interesting. Ah, oh, King of Cups reversed. Now this is, this is, now you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be an earth sign as well. I'm not sure, but we have a little bit of earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be Scorpio. I think I already said that. You also could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. But, um, in your, I think that you've been thinking for quite some time as to whether you should invest in this anymore or they have. These readings can always go vice versa. There's definitely some emotional discontent. Somebody may not have good intentions. Maybe you feel it. Maybe you know it. Um, there's somebody that is closed off emotionally. They're withdrawn. They don't communicate very well. They're not giving you anything solid. You know, they're not putting in their fair share. This person may be unfaithful. Maybe they're jealous. Um, they're just not emotionally available. There's some sort of secretive energy here. You may be dealing with somebody who's very secretive. You know, you're trying to prove it. Maybe you're trying to prove it. You're trying to prove that they're hiding something. You know, maybe you're trying to prove that they're unfaithful or something like that. Um, life is about to change, though, with that Wheel of Fortune. It is about to change. Somebody's, a cycle is ending. So let's clarify that Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Wands. Now, we have what? These are both completions. Yeah, tens are completions, holding on, trying to prove something. As we, again, the ten of wands is about proving something. Um, this is too much. It is really, 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 really too much. Somebody may be hiding. Somebody's hiding something. Somebody is hiding something, and I think that you know it, and I think that you're sick of it. I think that you've been really trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Something is going on and you've been trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I think you're about to see through it. I think you're, something is about to happen that is going to, you know, take this wall down and let you see exactly what is happening. Ooh, two of cups reverse. There could be a breakup. There could be a split. I hate to say that, but this is a disconnection, a detachment. So maybe even if you're already detached, this is detaching from something. I think it's a very positive change. You've been holding on. It's clear. It's clear. This is holding on. It's gotten to the point where you can't hold on anymore. Whoever you're dealing with doesn't have good intentions. They're probably unfaithful. They probably, you know, are very possessive. They are secretive. They're not, you know, they don't communicate well. And, you know, it's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. It's time for you to go in another direction. It's, it's starting to see. I think that the 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 barrier that you have been hiding behind maybe you didn't want to see i think you're getting to the point where you're ready right now we got the chariot the chariot upright this is moving in a, you're moving you're moving in a new direction either you're moving physically or you're moving mentally okay this is mental um strength okay uh determined a, you know, forward movement, uh, controlling your emotions, finding that self-discipline and that self-control to take back control of your life. Somebody has been hiding behind a mask and it's over. So this is taking a journey, getting in the driver's seat, dealing with any sort of uh, mental conflict, you know, taking control and... You're, you're, you're taking control. You're in control. You're taking the reins. You're taking the lead. You're getting in the driver's seat. You're not. You're, you're going. You're leaving it behind you now. You're leaving behind a dis, a, a partnership where you're worse. You can't, you can't work with this person. You've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. This person's unfaithful. They're uh, emotionally unavailable. They, they, you can't trust them. And I think that you've been waiting you know, for the proof for quite some time and, and you're getting the proof. You're getting the proof that gives you the momentum. It puts you in that, that, uh, 
headspace, I believe it is. I, it puts you in that space where you're like, goodbye, goodbye. I think that you are really, really, some of you are actually literally moving. You're crossing that bridge and you're not looking back. I don't see you looking back. It's like you're leaving that burden, that baggage behind you. That's what's happening here. Uh, somebody is probably moving, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is moving. Ace of Swords reversed. Now, th there's been, no, this is a magician. I see this over, this is the magician. This is uh, a master manipulator. You may be dealing with a pathological liar. Now this is moving forward, and, but this is somebody could not be making, you know, done, done, done thinking about it, perhaps. This is not qualified and this is not qualified, doesn't have the resources. I think you have been dealing with an individual that doesn't have any type of resources you know they it's like they don't have focus they lie um they manipulate they pretend but they really don't have any skills to be successful they don't take action or when they do take action and it's like you're taking their power away. You're taking your power away from this person. Well, anyway, what I was saying is when this person takes action, they do it without thinking. You, you know, you may be dealing with an individual that has abused their power. You know, they've tried to overrule you master manipulator but this is you moving away from that taking your power away four of cups yes yeah, seizing a new opportunity the four of cups reverse this is this is seizing a seizing a new opportunity it's the end of stagnation it's the end of crying about this it's the end of pouting it's the end of not looking for anybody else it's, it's that's over it's done you're ready. It's a time of transformation. You are headed towards something new. After being lied to, after being deceived by whoever this individual was or is, you are moving. You are headed towards something new. This is the Four of Cups is taking the new taking a new opportunity. This is looking forward now, and this one is too. So you're you're leaving behind something that you were you were. Uh, blinded by you know you you <coughs> allowed yourself you it's like you wore a mask you chose not to see you allowed yourself to be manipulated you allowed yourself to be in denial you chose not to take action you chose to you know try and try and try and try and try and try and try Anyhow, I feel like now you're ready to move forward and I think that you are moving forward and I think that you are headed towards somebody that or a situation that, you know, you may have neglected it in the past. Perhaps you were, you had this opportunity before but you didn't take it because you were dealing with this other person and now you're ready for, for it. You know, it's like you... You missed this opportunity in the past, but now there's an opportunity to grab it. And I think you're going to grab it. Okay? So, or somebody, somebody, I think that you are headed towards a new opportunity that you may have missed in the past because you were dealing with a master manipulator, pathological liar who had you uh, thinking that they were the one. Anyhow, so you are headed towards something new. The lovers reverse. Yes, okay. So now we got we got the two of cups reversed and the lovers reverse. So this is the end of a contract. We have a contract that is ending. This is a disconnection, detachment. 
You are detaching. And the lovers is two people. You got another person here. You really do. So it's detaching from one and coming towards somebody else. That's what is happening. I think we have a broken relationship here that is being accepted. It's like it's over. I feel like it's over and I think that you're accepting it. It's like you're taking back control of your life. You're finding the discipline to focus on something else. You're seizing an opportunity that was missed before. Strength reversed. Yeah, you were you were dealing with a person that um, had control issues. They loved the control that they had over you. And I think that they may have lowered your self-esteem. They made you feel like you were inadequate. They probably made you feel like you uh, weren't good enough. They caused some sort of depression. So anyway, I feel like this person may have also been dealing with an ex. Anyhow, I feel as though you are headed towards something that this is now this is good, okay? So you could be driving or moving towards somebody or traveling towards because there's this it could be travel, it could be moving, you know, driving somewhere, driving and running into somebody. You could be running into somebody that you are destined to meet because this is a new opportunity that you take. Okay? So this may have to do with something to do with a vehicle driving somewhere. Um there's a, there's, I think there's like a sudden meeting, okay, I think it's very unexpected, okay, I think it's an unexpected um, run-in of some sort, um, I think this is going to help you to detach from this person that you have been holding on to, and I think there is a detach, there's definitely a detachment here, you are breaking free, you are taking back control, you're taking back control and you're moving. Some of you are, may, you may meet somebody and end up moving towards that person, whether it's moving physically or moving mentally, whatever, you're moving towards somebody new, put it that way. You are dealing with somebody that is a real coward. This is like an energy vampire. That's what I, and I don't say that very often. And I think that you've held on as long as you can. I think it's over. I think you're moving in a new direction. I think that you, there's a destined meet up here. It's like destiny. You're meeting up with somebody that you are destined to meet up with. It's, it, this is like all of a sudden. It could be a Gemini as well. I don't think I mentioned Gemini yet. It could be a Gemini. I feel like this is somebody that... Um, is definitely going to interest you. I think the minute you see them, you're going to feel some sort of spark. Okay, you're going to feel some sort of intrigue by this person. Um, this person may not fit the physical description that you are that you are used to, but they will be attractive to you. Okay, just so you know, there is going to be something about this person that really, really. Uh, tells you that you, you want to give them a chance or that you want to get to know them or something like that. It's like you're not even going to have to think about it. It's just going to be like, yep, this is this is it. You know, you're going to be very uh, drawn to this person, put it that way. Um, mm, we have an emperor here. So if you are a female, this is an emperor. This is somebody that is very protective. Um, well put together. Highly respected. 
may be a business owner. This person um, is a boss or a manager. This guy is very noble, very structured, very organized, makes, makes decisions, makes big decisions, is a decision maker. So whoever this man is, he is in a prominent position. He's either a business owner or he makes big, big decisions, okay? He's highly respected by his peers and the people around him. If you are the masculine watching this, I would say that this is the energy that you are probably taking on. You could also be, if you are the masculine watching this, you could be coming into contact with a person. It could even be a feminine, okay? This is a person that, or another, whatever, whatever your preference is, whatever. Whoever you're coming into contact with, this person is um, a boss or a business owner or somebody that, um, has a lot of life experience and can take really, 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 really good care of you. And is ready to settle down. This person is is has life experience, is ready to settle down. Very wise individual. So Cancer, I feel as though you are headed towards somebody that you are dest it's destiny. It is destiny. I feel like it's destiny. I feel like you are meant to meet up with this person. You won't even have to think about it. It's like the minute you see this person, you are interested. And I feel like the feelings will be neutral. I'm neutral. Mutual. I can't. It is Mercury retrograde, right? Or it's coming something I can't speak anyway this person um, that you are headed towards um, I feel like is is a perfect match for you it is going to help you to detach from the person that didn't have good intentions that was unfaithful that brought your self-confidence and your self-esteem down this person is going to help you they are. And I think you may travel with this person. You may go places with this person. Good luck.